Richard Southern joins us for our daily business chats. And Richard, many of us carry an Air Miles or Seen Points card in our wallets, but the list of benefits on those cards is about to shrink. This was big. Uh, the LCBO, uh, Melissa, no longer going to take Air Miles. You collect this? You have one of those blue cards? I do. Doesn't everyone? I know. It's so part. ubiquitous. And, you know, the LCBO has been taking them since 1997, but no more come the end of March. That'll be it for Air Miles and LCBO. Now, the LCBO didn't give a reason why it's it's ending that relationship. It did say, though, that details on a future loyalty program will be introduced in the coming months. So who knows? Maybe they're going to do it on their own. Who knows? Uh, this is the, the second uh, big retailer that's dropped Air Miles in the last year. Rexall Drug Stores uh, dropped them last May. So uh, there you go. No more uh, scanning that card when you go buy your bottle of wine. Oh, boy. Well, that's too bad there now. Oh, meantime, we've got to mention Cineplex. Got to mention Cineplex because another big story there with points. Uh, they have changed now how you earn your points with your scene loyalty points. Uh, you're only going to get five for every dollar you spent. You used to get 100 scene points for every movie. So that's a big change over there at Cineplex, you know, if and when we get back to the movie theater. Okay. Now, a popular Toronto bakery is being forced to close its doors. This one hit, hitting close to home for me because I grew up close to this place and used to go when I was a kid. It's the Asian Court Bakery uh, at Pharmacy and Finch, a very uh, favorite spot for locals mm -hmm. there. They, they've been baking up uh, veal uh, parm sandwiches and cannolis and bread for 30 years. But they're going to close up shop. I talked to the owner today and he says the landlord's going to put houses in the plaza instead. Take a listen. The, the plaza sold, sold to a developer, and the developer decided to put in townhouses. I don't, I don't know how to fight this. I, I know that the community is responding. There's uh, petitions going on. But you literally grew up in Agent Court Bakery. How, how are you feeling right now? I don't know how to do anything else. I, I, I come into work and, and, and I go home. You don't even look at it as business. It's just like a, it's like second nature to you. It's home. Melissa, he says he is looking for another location. He's not sure if he's going to be able to find one or not. There's so many of these stories right now. Some of the closures, of course, COVID-related. Uh, the others are, are like this, where, you know, the housing market is so hot. Developers mm -hmm. are looking to put homes wherever they can. And in, in some cases, that means, you know, local businesses uh, having to close up shop. Now, hopefully everything will work out for them in the end. Now, the head of Canada Pension Plan Investment Board is stepping down amid some controversy today. Mm -hmm. He went and got a vaccine overseas, you know, Melissa, uh -oh. which is not not illegal, but doesn't really look so good, right? This is Mark Machen heading up Canada's largest pension plan, or he was, the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board, stepped down this morning after he went to the United Arab Emirates and got vaccinated. Uh, he said in a memo to staff that the trip was supposed to be private and that he was disappointed that it became the focus of criticism. Uh, Machen becomes the second senior corporate executive to resign after attempting to jump the vaccine queue. 